Hello and welcome once again to Microwave Me, the show where I bring you only the best and the biggest in microwaving. And as you can see, I gave Quincy a day's rest after they collapsed from heat exhaustion yesterday, microwaving a thermometer. Today, I'm going to do a whole hundred CDs. Now, you've probably seen those hundred CD videos on YouTube, but I'm going to do them with the CDs flipped the other way so you'll get at least somewhat of a sparkle show. Now, take a look and behold. A full hundred CDs inside of Quincy. Now, how long should I do it for? I'm cook. Figure four minutes should be enough. And let's start.
You know, I don't know if it's really done yet. I'll hit the popcorn button to add more time. Okay, I think the 100 CDs are done now, and it curiously smells like some weird smell from a candy store at the mall. Or maybe I've been just doing too much microwaving, but I'm going to attempt to remove the post product with this precision spatula, which needs to be replaced sometime soon. It's not doing its job. Whoa! Everything got away. Whoa! Looking at this, I think you can guess the final verdict. It melted, it bubbled, and amazingly, uh, unlike the other 100 CD video because I flipped it upside down it actually did make a nice spark show Kind of like the 30 CDs I did but even slower and longer lasting Amazing how one small change turned into something exciting I would like to thank Kenny Irwin for giving me the original idea to do this. And I noticed it did make a pretty decent bubble show when he did it. But, I thought, hmm, if he would have flipped it over, it might have sparkled real slow, just like a regular CD, but on a bigger scale. So I decided, hmm, why not do it myself? And it turned out pretty cool. A microwaving specialist in me wants to declare this a good idea, but truth is you do not want to try this at home. <laughs> 